In this quick video, I'm gonna teach you how to do slow motion speed ramping inside DaVinci Resolve. That will take your footage from looking like this to looking like this. And if you're new here, we have over 200 videography related videos on the channel, so lots of content for you to learn from. And if you're interested in any of the equipment or the music we use to make our videos, all links are in the description. All right, let's jump in. All right, with DaVinci Resolve open, I have my clip imported into the media pool. We're gonna drag it down into our timeline and then we'll just scrub through to see what we're working with. So right as the skateboarder starts to do the trick, that's where we're gonna start our speed ramp and then it'll end just before the skateboard lands so that it goes back to normal speed for the sound of the land. Okay, so that's the idea, let's get started. First thing we do is right click the clip, go to Retime Controls. And then once again, we'll right click and go to Retime Curve. This will open up this area just below the clip. Then we'll go to the part where it says Retime Speed. We'll show the drop down menu. We will take off the part where it says Retime Frame. That will leave us with just this straight line. I think this will be a good spot for the first speed ramp. So we'll go to the 100% drop down menu here and we will press on add speed point. And then we will go just to before the trick is landed and we will add one more. You'll notice that if we play back this part, nothing has changed. And that's because we haven't actually made any speed changes yet. We've just sort of set up the start and end. To adjust the speed of this section, we will go to the top here and drag this out. And now when we play it back, you'll notice that at this spot right here, it instantly goes into slow motion. And then on this second point, it instantly goes back to real time. That looks good and we have accomplished our goal of slow motion, but we haven't done any speed ramping yet. Speed ramping looks a lot more dynamic and professional. And basically what it means is it slowly changes from your normal speed into your slow motion over a certain period of time, instead of just instantly changing like we have right here. So let's go down and click on the line that will reveal these little points here so we can click on them. And then we're gonna change it from the straight line here to the curved. And then we'll do the same to the other side. Now the default setting is technically being speed ramped right now and it'll be a lot more smoother than what we had before, but I would always suggest grabbing these little handles at the end and stretching it out. So you click on the other one and you can do the same here. Now we'll watch it back and you'll see that it's a lot more dynamic with the transition between the regular speed and the slow down speed. And that's represented here with these curves. And then from there, if you need to make any micro adjustments, like you wanna you know, change where the slow motion starts. So let's say you want it to start here. You can just go to the bottom here, drag over that, and then you are good to go. Or let's say at the end here, you don't want it to speed ramp as much. You can put that back to straight and really exaggerate that. It's a pretty powerful tool, and as you may have noticed, it automatically adjusts your audio. Currently in Premiere Pro, you cannot do this. You have to use After Effects if you want it to affect your audio. So props to DaVinci Resolve for making this a feature. It's done really well. I love the ease of use of speed ramping in this program and how it automatically adjusts the audio. If you check out here, you'll see that as we adjust this curve, it changes just that portion of the audio. All right, I hope this video was helpful to you on how to speed ramp footage in DaVinci Resolve with audio. Again, this is a much more dynamic way to make your slow motion clips look more professional by ramping the slow motion instead of just having a straight cut into the slow motion. That's it for this video on how to do slow motion speed ramping in DaVinci Resolve. I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from us in the future. We have over 200 videography related videos, so lots of content for you to learn from. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.